<laughs> They're so cute. Yes, so cute. Mm, mm, mm. Brussels sprouts and cauliflower, onion, fennel and cucumber, plum, pear and papaya, aubergine and sire, lime, lentils and quinoa, omel bread and omel flour, watercress and okra, tofu and sweet pepper. That was... Now it's time for yet another sick adventure. This time a straight line mission that goes from city to city, instead of going across a country or a state. From Moerv to Brumendar, which is about 11 kilometers. I know what some of you might be thinking. Well, aren't you the one that doesn't even start the attempt? Well, that is only the way you see it. In both instances I was honest. Of Adrana there was an avalanche danger and we couldn't actually get to where we needed to park the car. It was actually dangerous. And at Storfjord the situation was that Christian didn't have enough medication and yes, I did have a severe panic attack. Which is why I do this now. I want to show you that I can actually do it, that I am capable. I picked this route because it isn't the end of the world if I have to cancel, then I can just try the morning after or the day after that. And also, this route starts by a smaller mountain and a larger mountain, and then it goes down to a flat, fieldy landscape, so it actually mimics Wales quite a bit. So I packed a smaller backpack, and I put on some proper shoes, which is something I rarely do, because I walk bare feet most of the time. <sighs> then Oda Johanna drove me up to the far top of Morev City, and then I got all of my stuff out, and then we were ready to start, except that we had some issues. Now I will start from dawn and I'll walk till dusk. It is not per stream uh, filming conditions, but I will only be for the first few minutes, I guess. We're approaching dawn. Now, this will be my route. Let's start by entering someone's back garden, I think. I'm not sure exactly, um, I, haven't, I haven't done this in a while. Now, the GPS is totally messed up at the moment. I'm trying to zoom in. This was a problem I never experienced, no matter how much I zoomed in. The GPS has zoomed out on its own, so I decided to start all over. Hopefully it will work fine now. I'll just follow the line as closely as I can. Uh, hopefully, oh, a wild old Johanna appeared. I have to get through here already. I only brought old Johanna for the first uh, 200 meters because I needed some help. But in the beginning, I had to go through this garden and it was darn dark this early. And there was a reason why we went so early as well. After crossing the road, we got to actually go down the Modan Valley. And then I needed some help because I needed to cross the Moarva River. In order to not get too wet, then I had to take all my clothes off and put them into a dry bag. So now even the GPS have to go in. And a backpack. Any religious person would tell you that this is proof that God exists because there was actually a tree fallen over the river exactly where the line went and we did not plan this. Uda Johanna decided to come with me over the river so that she could retrieve the dry bag and the towel. And the closer we got to the southern part of the river, the deeper it went. And the further we went, it got brighter and brighter and brighter. And that is the reason why we went early, so we could just take our time crossing the river safely. Oh, jeez. Will my help get over us all? You're doing it easier than me. Oh, you're doing it easier than me. 
My um, my toes are cold. Yeah, I'm no longer. <laughs> now this looks like a mess, a total squiggle, mostly it's signal, but even so, it wouldn't go that many meters away from the line anyways. Then I could put my dry clothes on and then watch Uda Hanna go over, then wave her goodbye. Goodbye! Before I started ascending the first of the two mountains. The small one first. That's the first mountain done. The uh, other issue I have is my glasses. They're brand new. I got a prism on both sides now. And uh, that is also tiring. <laughs> but I planned this uh, before uh, I heard that my uh, glasses were ready. What I like about this ridge is that it goes almost parallel to my line. I actually think it does go parallel to my line. This. Uh, the trail is almost spot on. <laughs> That's convenient. The descent from the mountain went much smoother. And then when I hit the road, then it was the bigger mountain yet to go. I crossed the road and then went into this thick <laughs> forest that was actually hollow. And then I saw this mushroom formation that reminds me of the fairy circle in World of Warcraft. It was so beautiful in fact, it made me actually go off the line slightly. Then I had to continue ascending the mountain and after a while it opened up yet another fairy forest beautiful picturesque landscape that I just was really joyful just walking through everything comes to an end and then I had to say uh, goodbye to Tinkerbell and continue on this dreadful mission Sheep fences are the easiest to deal with, but not while there's half a forest in front of it. There we go. There we go. That was easy. Sort of. Now, where am I? According to the line, though. A little off. Yeah. Three, four meters maybe. And lucky me, I found a spruce forest unlike anything I've seen before. I just ran through it and managed to stay quite to the line actually. And then there was another sheep fence that was just a step over. I just got my feet wet. And I walked off the line simultaneously. Ah, oh, jeez. I try to keep my feet dry as long as possible. Marshes, you can't help it, you know. They're awful. Uh, it doesn't help that the, oh, that the shoes are waterproof. If I step over the shoe line, I'll get wet anyways. Now oh, this is frozen. That's what I like, but not all of it. Yet another logging field. These are painful. In fact, in the winter, they are the worst thinkable thing to walk across. Walking with snowshoes, they get stuck everywhere. And it basically takes forever. 
But after that, it was the saving grace of this wide open spruce forest that it was easy to get through. But then I came to this field. The field that marked the beginning of the wettest part of the entire trip. Oh, oh. Mm. oh fell on my knee. I landed on the line though. For those of you who haven't grown up with farming, this is the type of land that yields the best results in warmer summers. But for me, this was a total nightmare. Ah, first sign of civilization, I guess. Walking up this last logging field before reaching the top of this mountain, this was actually much cleaner than I usually see logging fields. Kudos to the uh, people who uh, uh, did uh, woodworks here. They've cleaned up de decently. Not everywhere, but it's, it's one of the more cleanest woodworks that I've been walking through ever. <laughs> oh. That's such a welcome insight. Really convenient. I see some industry area over there. No, I don't know. It might be so that I thought I was closer to it. I can hear the train. So yeah, that could be so actually. Uh, yeah, because that's a slaughterhouse over there. I'm not sure if I'm pointing correctly. Huh. Well, I'm glad I'm not going down this uh, straight. I'm going sideways. <laughs> I thought that was one, one would be more rotten than that. <laughs> uh, let me see down there. I think like this type of uh, this type of ledges are actually easier to go up than down. Believe it or not, doesn't take as much energy going down, but it's dangerous. <laughs> You can slip and fall and uh, hurt yourself. Going sideways is a little safer. It's a whole lot safer actually. Still online. Uh, yes, there is signal here. I'm online. Uh, okay. Worst bit over. No, oh, I didn't make it. <laughs> There we go. Forget that I uh, wear a backpack. Oh, not this again. <sighs> How do you walk in a straight line down this? Sideways. It's on a terrible angle as well. I'm struggling. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a struggle. Luckily, this turf is dry. Like everything else has been really wet today. And the more warmer it has gotten, the wetter it has gotten. I'll just uh, rest my ankles a little and I'll continue. High trees and uh, the sideways uh, terrain. The uh, GPS corrects itself all the time. 
which is inconvenient. But it's not too far off, like, I don't think it misses with like 10 meters or anything like that. So it isn't anything crucial. But I try to correct myself and then I go the complete other way. Oh no, I have to go upwards now. Huh. Okay, how should I tackle this? It appears to be a little bit too high up, so I'll go down a little. And there I'm online. Um, let me see. Yeah, this shouldn't be as difficult as it seems. These tiny branches are next to air, unless there's a lot of them it's trying to correct me again. Jeez. Okay. Oh, it's too slippery. <laughs> when the logs are slippery, that's when you're in for some really interesting business. Oh. What a smell! Oh, those! Yeah, those smells. <laughs> and this is the line as well. My gosh! Like, literal air? <sighs> Get this away! Okay, I can't. But I can bend it. There we go. <sighs> Tree trunks like this is awful. A little bit up. Then over, and then go up again. Yeah, where's the over? Oh, there's one at least. There's a tree house in front of me. It's not on the line though. <laughs> uh, like, um, if I were to do like a straight line mission, then I could actually be shelter. <laughs> uh, this will only take a day, I think. There is two log gap. Not, not like there's two like tree houses. You don't often come across them because if uh, a child bothers to make them, somebody will tear them down for fun. <laughs> down here somehow. Now it's straight down and a path. Hmm. Wow, that's 95 uh, degrees. Let me see. You know how I deal with this? That's how I do it. And then I went a little bit off the line. Oh, 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 twig to the face. And now, here's the question. Fields. You know what, I think I'm going to switch battery on my GoPro. Quite fitting, because this was the moment when the hardest forested part was all done and dusted. <laughs> okay. Well, not that I struggled that much with the fence. To go a little to the line. Let me see. The line goes here. Okay. This is the thing. I'm walking across fields in Norway. Thus, I'm not afraid of farmers. I just walk. Most farmers don't care. I think that was the farmer driving past. He must have seen me and he just drives on. Well, if he turns, he's just going to ask what I'm doing. And then I'll explain to him what, what I do. And he says, okay. <laughs> Usually, there are some uh, exceptions to this rule though. <laughs> some awful exceptions. Is it fenced right here? <sighs> Two meters off the line. Not my, don't mind if I do.
Bloody brambles. I need to tie up my coat and everything. Okay, so there's a combination of brambles and raspberry bushes. One worse than the other. The line goes here, so got to do what I'm gotta do. It's usually around fields you'll find those. Same thing for uh, nettle. I now found myself in an impenetrable thorny nightmare. And if brambles and raspberry bushes weren't enough, all of a sudden rose bushes appeared. My gosh, this was just so horrible. Thorns absolutely everywhere. One could easily get insane by less. But lucky me, there was only a short stretch of forest after that, and then there was open fields right in my sight again. The safe haven of the open fields didn't last for long. Now I had to crawl over these trees. That was the challenge, but even more so, I had to crawl over this amount of compostating trees along the way. Just bit by bit by bit. It took absolutely ages. This was really tiring, but what come up ahead was even more so my, my. going to get my heart pump go fast, but I didn't know exactly why. No. I have to walk around that. Over or below? Below, I think. That's the best thing to do. Uh, I can actually go through. Uh, this is gonna look sketchy. Uh, okay. Uh, my heartbeat increased for some reason. Let me see. Out of the tree to the house, somebody's in. I'm not stepping on that. Okay, slightly offline there. Jeez. I'm a little bit off line. The line is at the house. Ah, uh, there we go. Most difficult terrain over here. <laughs> Lucky when it comes to the house, but the rest, not that much. Oh. After all of the things that I've been doing this day, now I got a panic attack. Oh. No idea why. The only thing that was on my thought that could be negative was that I just hope that I don't have to explain myself. But there wouldn't be any issues whatsoever because they're Norwegians. This happened to me on Shebotten as well.
But this is only a recent occurrence in my life that I've actually started to have panic attacks. One of my trolls even called this acting skills one out of ten. Haha. <laughs> Funny. <sighs> I think I'm in pheasant territory. Not sure. Oh. Now that. Um. I was a little unsure because I haven't seen feces look like that and in the same pile at the same time. If there was only one, I would have thought it was sheep, but not in the cluster like this. So I asked a few people and my dad said this could actually be moose that has been grazing in a flourishable summer, which it actually has been this year. Real Turmat I've shown you in uh, another video. These are really nice and multiple of them are vegan, which is quite handy. I'm uh, well past a uh, half point, there's a road down there. I'm not hungry, but I got to eat. It's um, soon about to be 12, so I, I need food, I just don't want to. Ever since the house, I've been walking fairly straight. Since then, there was a little bit of zigzagging in that little forest, but where I had my break, it was quite fine actually. But when I came here, I had a little pleasant surprise. A birch forest was such a pleasant surprise. Like, I, I went slightly mental. Is that where I have to go? Okay. Seems like nobody's home. The line is actually at the border. Huh. Is this right? Yeah. Almost. Almost. The line is like literally there. Yeah. I met cars, but I haven't met a single person. I not I oh Brumendor. Ah oh, I can see it. Oh, my goal. Nice little rocks here. Ah, uh, I need to change battery on the GPS. This is an issue when you um, restart the GPS. The signal just goes off like that. It looks like it didn't save the other. If that one didn't save the other line, I'll be pissed. Because it doesn't seem like there is any line behind there. I so wish that there was a way for me to check it because my moral went out of the window. So as you can see, the line is still there. And the signal also went, well, it went all the way to 13 meters off. Whew. 
I'm not looking forward to those woods over there. Either there is a sewer going down here, or there is a cow farm nearby. It smells really bad. Shows that I'm a little bit to the left, not to the right, so let's go left. For a second there I thought I had to walk up that thing. I have to walk sideways here though. Uh, uh, this again. Uh, it just doesn't get old, does it? Sounds like the car wreck is, is uh, up at this time. I didn't think that would be open because it's Saturday. Is there a road here? Yeah, a little bit off the line. I hope that my calculations are correct so I don't have to walk too much around. Then my plan was actually to go further up there but uh, the first map I was looking at was an older one. And I've expanded since then. Uh, okay. Managed to do that kind of straight. Uh, how straight will I manage this? Ah, uh, oh, dang it. Okay, I could climb this, but I think it's uh, really recording, so I have to walk around and try to hug the fence as much as possible. I think I'm about 8 meters now. Ow! Ugh. These hurt. Ow. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure how far out I am. Then I'll hug the fence as well as I can. Jeez. No, I shouldn't be going over here. Uh, so, um, I think the uh, ones who are working here might be thinking I'm doing the right thing. Still might think I'm a little sketchy nevertheless. Oh, this was way steeper than I had looked at first. <laughs> going around the car wreck. Uh, I couldn't see the fence on Google Earth, so... That was the main issue. 12 meters, it turned out, well within the 25 meter platinum line. Obstacle. I have no idea there was uh, a river here. Is this a river or is it a creek? I can't tell really. No, this is a river. Okay, uh, that rock over there, it's only a few meters from the line. There we go. Ah, oh, fields. I aimed for this to be the furthest deviation, but I made one crucial mistake. When I managed to cross this river, I was so eager to get to the fields that I totally forgot to check the GPS. Therefore, furthest deviation, 13 meters. For some reason I didn't care to check the GPS as soon as I had uh, crossed the creek. I kept walking in what I thought was a straight line. How was stupid of me. Someone's out. 
Okay, that's not... That's not coming in for me. I'm not sure if I'm going on the actual property. It's almost out. There's sheep there. This is inconvenient. No, they're pigs. Okay, I'll just walk and then see what I have to say. If they come from me, that is. Yeah, they are. They are pigs. Oh, I scared them. Didn't want to do that. Not to sound like I don't mind others' business, but this is a legal issue. Burning your own rubbish is actually illegal. Just in case uh, the farmers watch this afterwards. Oh. So we're looking at me. Um. No, I'm not going through there. Because it's not visible on the camera, what I'm walking around there is another pigsty. Maybe here. I don't know. <laughs> They're so cute. Yes, so cute. <laughs> yes, so cute. Um, almost back online. Oh, hi. They're so cute. This happened to be by the line. I was not what I anticipated. Let me see. Back online. One of the farmers had been watching me ever since I put my foot on their land. I just tried to act like nothing until I was close enough to actually talk to her. I try to just go from Moelv to Brummen on a straight line. Yes, right line. Yes, right line. Thank you for coming over there. Yes, thank you. Yep, that's Norwegian farmers. I told you. And yeah, it was hard to go through, but it wasn't the worst that I'd gone through. Although I did fall. I'm Bruce Lee. <sighs> Straight line should be going there. Somehow. Am I almost there? I don't know. No, it's really opening up. It's there, sort of. Huh. I started meeting people. <laughs> so like the first that I uh, met were actually farmers out and uh, there were pigs all over the place. The obstacles weren't over yet. There was this steep bank down to the next river. Much harder than it looked. Yet another river. Then out of nowhere, I got the hardest hit on the entire run. No idea what it was. I think it was a log, but I can't tell. It was really strange. <sighs> Ow. My leg. Ah. The line was going sideways across this river. It was smooth sailing. No pun intended.
online again. Okay, almost done. Almost done. I don't want the electric in my balls here. Okay, I'm so tired. I'm not really that tired, but stressed is more like it. It is a really stressful business. That is the border of Brumendal right there. If somehow someone managed to stop me now. Okay. Come on. It's just this one field. Almost there. Almost there. Come on. Yeah. He removed the line. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yay! I'm done. I've done it. <sighs> uh, let me see. That's okay, I guess. Yes. I'm through. I'm here already. Wicked. GPS off. What time is it? One o'clock. I made it by one o'clock. Let me see if the Hummer can get in. Well, I can get to me here somehow. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. Why is the uh, front light broken? Not again. Good thing that um, we came here when the lights are on. Mm -hmm. The front light is broken. I was like, I hope that's not you because that front light is broken. No, it was broken long before, so it's just happening. Oh, happens again. <sighs> Even after walking 11 kilometers in five hours, I didn't feel that tired, only a little beaten up. But how well did this go? Looking at the line on Garmin Basecamp, it looked quite well, and I thought, this is going to be a really good Bedell score. But there was one simple issue there. In order to not follow a 2D map, then you have to put it in sail mode. And in somewhere in the process, I had not put it onto sail mode, although I thought I did. So it looks fine on Google Earth when you're in the beginning of the line, but later down the road, it doesn't look so good anymore. I just ended up walking consistently 5 meters off the line. A straight line is very different on a 2D map and a 3D map, so I decided the Bedell score is going to be the most important thing here. The Burdell score is actually the percentage of how well you manage to stay on a line. But actually scoring it, it was more complicated than I had imagined. I talked to three different technicians, they were unable to help me. I sent Burdell himself uh, an email, no reply. I tried to talk this out with GeoVisit and he was also going to contact him and I have heard nothing back. So after trying to work with this for over a week, I just gave up. But, I can still do the medal score. Like how many meters have I been able to stay within the line? Well, it turns out, I managed to stay well within the 25 meter platinum zone. Furthest deviation? 10.89 meters. And it also turned out to be when I had to walk around this pigsty. Which means I did much better than I imagined. Great success.